Hey everybody, this is Sody Pop Gamer. We're back with another episode of Stardew Valley, and we leveled up our farming and our mining. And how much money did we get? Almost enough to make up for our losses. It is now day six. And we've met everybody in town finally. Okay, it's gonna be sunny tomorrow. And the spirits are annoyed today. Oh good. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. It just so happens I had an extra set of blueprint blue <laughs> blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Learned how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal, metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay. I'm heading home. Take it easy. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius, wizard. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer's spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlin. Okay, so, ten slimes, meet the wizard, and craft a furnace. Ooh, another parsnip is done. Shaboop. Okay, let's focus on doing some chores first. Question is, is am I gonna go to Pierre's to buy a single crop? Possibly. Oops. Alright, pop that back in there. Um what are we gonna do today? I don't know yet. But we're gonna go talk to the wizard. Right, my path is not cleared. Let's just grab you. Oh, you know what? Let's make a furnace real quick. <laughs> Sorry. Squirrel. I don't know what I need to make it. Oh, I need copper ore. Let's put it beside the chest. Smelt your first copper bar working on it. Yeah, I know. I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, now we've got a path. See if we can pick up some mixed seeds over here. We did. Okay, we don't have to go to Pierre's. Ooh, more, more mixed seeds. If you can hear the snoring in the background, my husband is asleep on the bed. All right. Ah. Uh. Come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred... You get the point. 
And you, Rachel, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most intriguing. Oh, interesting. It's fine. I can read. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the Force, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Hmm. One with the Forest. What do they mean? Aha! Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Plus 38 energy. And you turn green. In fact, everything turns green. You are green. We are green. Forest. Trees. You're on LSD. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Okay. Let's go in and just talk to him. See if he's got anything to say. Ah oh, yes, I've predicted your arrival a long time ago, young Rachel. However, your fate is ultimately in your own hands. You know, I've never actually explored his tower. I guess there's not much to explore. Okay. We'll go back to the farm. And then we'll kind of decide what to do. Let's see. 
Oh, right. Let's craft a scarecrow. What do we need? Wood, coal, and fiber. Okay. Fiber, coal, wood. We need him right here. 100 gold. Good. Um... Let's grab our hoe, and we're gonna go to the mines again. Say hi to our pupper. We're gonna try and slay ten slimes, so we can be part of the Adventurer's Guild. That's nice, that's some easy energy and health. The leak. Let's give the leak to Lioness. That's a good find. I'm always happy when eating wild food. Thank you. I'm gonna try and become friends with everyone. We'll see what happens. It doesn't look like there's any monsters in, on this floor. So we just need to find that. Ooh, hello. Sword. Stop! Okay, well, cherry bomb, that's not bad. I was hoping I would drop the actual crab. Because I know I need that for the community center too. Ah, I'm not good at combat, by the way, so don't don't judge me. Okay, there's a ladder, but we need to slay ten slimes. And like I said, I am not good at the combat. Okay, get some more copper ore. Okay, well that just revealed that that's a crab. I've never had so many in one go. Cherry bombs. Nice. Oh, and those things. I hate those things. I call them dug digs. I don't know what they're actually called. I know I'm taking damage. I know that. Okay. Really don't know why I bothered killing it, but that was just kind of a waste of health. Carrots, good. I kind of need that. Good. Um, we're going to ignore that ladder for just a minute. We're going to try and make it to level 10, but that's not really the goal. So, Okay, so that ladder back there. Let's eat one of our cave carrots. Put us in a little bit of a better spot.
an earth crystal. That's lucky. Alright. Means we can't really pick any- well, we can use the cherry bomb. Let's use the cherry bomb. Okay, no ladder. That's kind of unlucky, but... Let's put another one... Where do I want it? I think over here. Oh, I didn't really want it right there, but okay. There we go. Ladder. Oh, wow. Ladder right out the gate. Um... Yes. Cause I, oh, I already had a... Okay. I should have just looked at my inventory first. It's a lot of copper. down. And we get our boots. I guess it was good that I ate that. You received a leather boot. Which is one defense and one immunity. Okay, let's get out of here. We reached level 10, but how many mines did we get? Or mines, slimes. We only got seven. Okay. Sorry, Pooch. Sword on our person. Okay. <laughs> Thirty five gold. Oh, nice, it's gonna rain. Somewhat annoyed. Queen of Sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook, this week's dish. Stir-fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. You learned how to cook stir-fry. Nice. Okay. Gotta fill the watering can. Let's go foraging, I think, and we're going to clear a little bit more of our land too, I think. Oh, you know what? We might as well get some copper smelting while we're at it.
go look for some spring onions. Is that all we've got? No, it's not all we've got. Nice! What? What do you mean inventory full? I can't pick up another spring onion? Oh, it's probably like a gold or silver star. Hmm. Okay. We'll come back for those two then. Inventory full. Dirt. Let's go ahead and sell these spring onions because I don't need to hold on to them. Go back down for the other stuff. Nope, this way. This is the little path. This is the way. I saw a second one, there we go. A sunfish frenzy has begun in town. Silver star, nice. Okay, and we have stuff to take to Gunther. So let's take this back up to our farm and take those crystals to Gunther. Oh, and there's... Okay, some copper ore, not bad. on it? No, it's just a plant behind it. Okay. Losing my marbles. I guess I could have talked to Harvey and Lewis. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes going to sleep a lot easier. As kids, we hunted for seashells after the tide went out. Those were the days. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail. 
but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Donate. Let's put our minerals... Let's start putting them here. Okay. Nice. 250 gold for donating to the museum. Okay, let's go chat with people then, I suppose. Let's go this way. There's Sam. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? Yep. Rocks. Hi there, miss. struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. I guess I should try to get patience from the neighboring towns. Yes, Doc, that, that is what you should do. I like how he's like totally dorky looking on his little sprite, and then you look at his um, chat sprite, and he's like actually halfway decent looking. Lewis is over here. Oh, it's his birthday. That's right. Let's go grab a daffodil for Lewis. Hopefully he likes daffodils. Hopefully he doesn't move by the time I've gotten back. He probably will, though. One daffodil... Lewis! Oh, great. Where'd he go? Let's talk to Jody. I'm taking the day off. If I don't spend any time outside, I'll go crazy. Plus, I don't want my legs to turn soft. Uh, actually, yeah. We've got quartz, so we can do that. So let's go grab the quartz first. I know we should have looked at that before. Doing all the run around, but we've got time. If nothing else, Lewis will be in his house. Okay, quartz for Elliot. Does Elliot go to the bar every night? I'm not sure. Okay, let's try to find Lewis and Elliot. Do we talk to Alex? No. Hey. What, you want to talk to me? I'm busy. Okay. Hello, um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Sorry. Hi! Do you have fun working on the farm? Yeah. Well, that's good, isn't it? Oh, this is the first time in Lewis's house. Oh, hello there, Rachel. I was just loading some more prizes into this machine here. It's a new program I've come up with to help promote a spirit of goodwill among the townsfolk. You included. 
It's pretty simple. Sometimes when you help out others in town, you'll receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. There's some special stuff in there. My only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for, the f for their fellow man. I just want to help. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear that. At any rate, keep checking the help wanted board in town. That's a good way to get your hands on more tickets. Good luck out there. Okay. Ah, oh, you remember the old mayor's birthday. That's very thoughtful of you, and it's a nice gift. Ah, I sense you've been spending some time in the old community center. It's good to know someone's taking care of that place. Okay, now we gotta find Elliot. There he is! Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you hoped. Ah, the quartz are requested, and it's a beautiful one too. Thank you very much, Rachel. 75. We're getting close to the backpack. I'm sure Coco will be a little shy at first. It takes a while for an animal to get comfortable in a new setting. Okay, we still got some energy and some daylight. So let's just go ahead and clean up the farm a little bit more. Okay, I think that's a good spot. Um, let's put our tools away. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching. Move. And let's see. Anything good? Nope, just from the onions. Alright, thank you for watching, and hopefully you are enjoying yourself. If you've got any tips or tricks for me, and just leave them in the comments. And I hope you all have a good evening, or day, or whatever time it is for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.